What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to install the pterodactyl panel and wings and put them both behind a Cloudflare tunnel. That will make it so you don't have to open any ports for the panel or wings. You'll only have to open ports for whatever game servers you run on the panel. So to get started, there's a couple of prerequisites you're going to need. You're going to need a server for the panel and wings that's running on a supported OS. You could find the supported operating systems on pterodactyl's website. In our case, we're using Ubuntu. Now you can run wings on a separate server, but in our case, we're just going to be running everything on one. And the second thing you're going to need is a domain name that is active on Cloudflare because we're going to be using their zero trust tunnel system to expose the panel and wings. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and run through the panel install. It's pretty straightforward if you follow their documentation. So we'll go ahead and click let's get started. So I know there are scripts to install the pterodactyl panel. However, I am not a huge fan of those. Uh, I find it's a lot more helpful to actually know what you're typing on your server. And the documentation is pretty straightforward if you just read it and follow it. So in this case, we're just going to basically be copying and pasting all the way down, skipping a couple of steps along the way, and then we'll go through some advanced configuration for the tunnel. Now at this point, we need to create a cron job. So you could follow this command, cron tab dash E. And paste this at the bottom. Next, we're going to create a queue worker for the panel. So we're going to create this file called taroq.service and etc system D system. So we'll nano that file. Now we're at the web server configuration portion. So first thing we're going to do is remove this default configuration. Then we're going to have to make some changes to this file. So I'm going to copy this and put it on a notepad and set it aside for a minute. So it's going to sound strange, but we're going to need to generate a self-signed certificate for the panel and for wings. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and make a folder to store that certificate in. We'll cd over to that folder, and we'll generate a certificate. I'll put this command in the description so you can copy it. While that's generating, we can come over here, and we're going to have to make a couple of changes to this file. So anywhere you see domain, this line, and this line, you need to put the local IP address of the server. So to find that, you can type ifconfig or ipa. And you'll see the IP address there. In my case, 10.10.4.104. I'm going to go ahead and put that in both of these spots. 
Then we're going to go down a little bit to this SSL certificate portion. We need to change the location of this to that certificate that we just generated. So in my case, it is an ETC certs. And with that configured, go ahead and copy that. And we're going to go ahead and put it on the server. So we need to create a file called pterodactyl.conf in etc nginx sites available. And we'll go ahead and paste that configuration in. Finally, we're going to create a symlink here and restart nginx. As long as you didn't get any errors here, nginx should be running and the panel should be live. Next, we're going to go ahead and get Wings installed. Now, we need to make some changes to the grub file. So we're going to nano etc default grub. And we're going to go ahead and add this line swap count equal to one at the end of this. Then we're going to run the update rub command and restart the server. With the server restarted, you can go ahead and SSH back into it. Then we're going to go ahead and continue the Wings install. Now, at this point, we can go ahead and configure the Cloudflare tunnel and get the panel online. So you're going to head over to your Cloudflare Zero Trust portal, and you're going to go to Access, Tunnels, and you can create a tunnel. Name this whatever you want it. I'm just going to call it Pterodactyl. And from here, we have to go ahead and deploy the tunnel. So in our case, I'm going to deploy it on this server running the panel in Wings and I'm going to do it in Docker. So if I click the Docker configuration, we can go ahead and copy this. I'm going to make a couple of adjustments to it so that it runs in the background and restarts by itself. So after the second word run here, just do dash D and then dash dash restart unless dash stopped, just like that. And then you can go ahead and copy this entire thing, paste it on the server, and it's going to go ahead and spin up the Cloudflare tunnel. Now that our tunnel is live, you're going to head over to the public hostname portion and you're going to add a public hostname. So in our case, we're going to expose the panel first. So it's going to be panel and then pick your domain. In my case, it's rustserver.org. For service type, we're going to choose HTTPS and you're going to put the local IP address of the server. So in my case, 1010.4.104. Now go ahead and click on additional application settings. Click on TLS. And you're going to check this box that says no TLS verify. We need that. Then you can come over here and save hostname. Now if we come back up here to public hostname, we'll see that the panel is listed as one of the options. So if we open a new tab, and we go to that panel URL. should land us right at the panel login page. I'm going to go ahead and get logged in. Next, we're going to go ahead and configure Wings to be behind this Cloudflare tunnel. So click again, add a public host name. And in this case, I'm going to choose Node as my subdomain and put it on the same rustserver.org. For the type, we're going to choose HTTPS. And we're going to put the local IP of the server colon 8080, because that's the port that Wings is going to be running on local. Again, go to Additional Application Settings, TLS, and check No TLS Verify, and save it. And at this point, we'll see both of our public host names listed there. Now, at this point, we have to go ahead and configure Wings. So head over to the Panel Admin page. You're going to create a location. You can name this location whatever you want. I'm just going to call it test. 
and you can come over to nodes and you can create a new node and name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine test. We're going to leave the uh, communicate over SSL as use SSL connection and behind proxy as not behind proxy. Go ahead and put that subdomain that you created in the tunnel earlier and then configure your memory and disk space. We're going to leave the daemon and SFTP ports alone as 8080 in 2022 because we're going to be running wings locally on 8080. Then you're going to go ahead and get a configuration file here. Go ahead and copy this. And we're going to put this in a notepad because we have to make a slight change. For the certificate portion here, cert and key, you need to change the location to the self-signed certificate that we generated earlier. So in my case, it was an ETC certs. Once you have that created, you can go back and you can generate the config file on the server. So it's going to be located in ETC Pterodactyl, and it's going to be called config.yml. Then go ahead and paste that information in. And then we can run wings for the first time with the wings dash dash debug command. Wings is now running. However, if you go over here, it's not going to be able to connect right away. And that's because technically it's running on port 443 publicly. So what we need to do now is we need to go into the node configuration on the panel, go over to settings, change this daemon port to 443, and then go ahead and save those changes. It's going to say the configuration has been updated, but there was an error. Don't worry about that. If you go back to nodes, you'll see that you have a green heart and the panel was able to connect. So in this case, we know that wings is good. The panel's good. So you can go ahead and control C out of this. And we're going to go ahead and daemonize wing. You scroll down. You'll see this portion here. So we're going to go ahead and create a file called wings.service in etc system d system and paste this content in and then we can enable wings and at that point you shouldn't need to do any more configuration on the server so if we head back over to the panel we'll see once again we have a green heart and everything is open so now we're going to go ahead and create a test server just to show that it is working i'm going to go into the node go to allocation for IP address, once again, you have to use the local IP because that's what's accessible to the server. I'm going to create a test Minecraft server. Now we can see the server is installing. One thing I do want to mention is that with this configuration, SFTP does not work. If you try to go over to the settings page and launch SFTP, it will not connect. And that is a limitation of Cloudflare's free plan. Pterodactyl actually mentions this in their documentation. It's just one of those things that you have to live with with this type of setup. So with that said, Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to help you out. Thank you.